All right, guys, welcome to uh, another edition of uh, Day in the Life with the Hunt for Dummies clan. And uh, we've got uh, one of our, uh, our our contest winner from with his actual antlers, his rack. Now he's got the deer all processed out. We came over, enjoyed a cup of coffee, a little bit of venison jerky. And uh, Robert Brown is here. He's going to give us a quick little, uh, little day's event on his hunt and how that rolled for him. And... Uh, and we'll go from there. Bob? Yeah, I had, a, I had an opportunity to uh, hunt 500 acres over at my buddy's house, and I definitely took advantage of it. Um, we had a tree stand set along a tree line, and we noticed there was a great big ash tree right next to it. And I've had incidents with ash trees falling on my tree stand before, so I decided <laughs> to move it. We moved it about 500 yards down the tree line, and I got in it the other evening on December the 4th, the day before my birthday. I turned uh, 74. So I climbed up there and I waited a while, and probably around 4.30, I seen him come out on the tree line. And he moved across, I was, there's a hill in front of me, and he moved across to the top of the hill. And for some reason, he decided to come down to a scrape about 20 yards from my stand. And so he made a 90 and came on down to about 65 yards. And he hung up. He saw me, and we started to stare each other down. We stared each other down probably for around eight minutes. <laughs> and I'm glad I didn't raise my gun because I wouldn't have been able to hold it up there. Yep. So eventually, we waited there like that to see who was going to blink first. And he just happened to blink first. He turned his head slightly and looked off into the woods, and I came up with my 4570 and took a head-on shot, which I don't like to do, but I had confidence in it. And I hit him just a little bit to the uh, his right of his vertebrae, and I must have hit the, uh, the carotid artery. And he turned, and when he ran, his front leg was dragging, his right front leg. I guess I hit the nerves in that in that leg. And I thought, darn, I hit him in the leg. Well, he ran about 20 yards, and he hit a fence, and did a big cartwheel over the fence, and landed on the other side, and he was down for the count. Well, now my problem is, at 74, how am I going to get this deer back on the other side of the fence? <laughs> So I walked up the fence row and I look and I about 20 yards away I found a place where another ash tree had fallen on the fence. So I managed to drag him that far and I got him back in the field and I called a buddy of mine with his ATV and uh, told him go ahead and finish hunting and when he was done come give me a hand. So I walked back and got my truck and drove down through the field and he helped me and we got him dressed, got him in the truck and got him home and got him in the air. And that's about it. That's a beautiful deer. Hey, the ash trees are good and bad. Yeah. <laughs> they helped out on that one in two ways. Got you to move your stand and uh, got you across the fence. Thanks, Bob. I mean, he's not, he's not no monster. But hey, he was a beautiful deer. Yeah. Beautiful yeah, deer. Late in the season, I couldn't yeah. pass him up. Yeah. Uh, no, absolutely. 